Hi, uh, today I'm not wearing my overalls, I'm not wearing a mask because uh, I'm at home and we've just bought a piano. Uh, it's second hand so we, we got a, a bit of uh, chips and stuff like that and uh, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to be restoring it um, but in this episode I'm going to take the opportunity to talk about epoxy versus epoxy. Now uh, I know I've seen a lot of DIY fixes and uh, they try to fill up uh, corners, they try to rebuild structures using two-part liquid epoxy and it just creates a mess. You know, uh, it's liquid, yeah, it's, it doesn't have a very long work time, it doesn't hold its shape and it, it just becomes sticky and uh, it flows everywhere. If you're thinking of using an adhesive, this is the one you want to get. But if you want to rebuild a structure, you want to rebuild a corner, fill up holes, you want to get this. This is uh, also an epoxy, but it's kneadable. And uh, what you want to do is cut off a piece, you know, um, uh, and make, make sure you get both the inner and the outer one. You cut it off uh, longwise, and then you knead it until it's a constant color. And you build whatever corner uh, that you want to repair. And you can even put texture into it. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this product uh, to get the best result. But before I get into the video, as usual, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe uh, down below and hit the notification bell because I come up videos every now and then uh, for, for you guys to learn how to fix stuff in your own home. It's, it's not really advanced stuff, uh, it's you know, general fixes that any, any, anyone can do. Uh, and so if your friends do need help, your family members, do share them my videos and uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. Alright, over here I have the piano leg as it, as, and as you can see, right, it's pretty chewed up. I don't know, maybe a dog or something got at it. But um, first, what we need to do is try to trim off all the, you know, the excess here. Because we don't need all of that. All these bits here that are all the old thing just give take off all the old glue that's been dried on there and you give yourself a nice surface to work on looks pretty good okay then grab your epoxy just this stuff and Usually what I do is I cut off what I need, you know, if I don't need the whole roll, I'll just cut off a bit. So probably that much seems good enough. And there is uh, two layers to it. One of it's the hardener and the other one is the epoxy. So just like the A and B, the liquid epoxy, you want to mix them up. You can do this with bare hands, it's, it's fine gonna use gloves it's gonna get a lot stickier and <laughs> harder to work with so there you go you just mix that up into a uh, until it's all the same color hmm? and then what I always do is I set aside a small ball okay that would be my test piece so I can monitor the hardening off my workpiece. Then, once you've got that down, start adding small bits at a time to whatever you're trying to fix. So you don't want to go with it with the whole whole ball. Just add and smooth it out as you go along. The trick here is that you want to make it as perfect as you can before it hardens up. Because once you, it hardens up, it's uh, harder to work with and to be a bit more detailed with it. So here I'm building up the whatever part that's missing. So 
So the trick is actually to keep your, your tools wet. You don't want to wet the workpiece, but you just keep your tools wet. I have a piece of tissue over here with a bit of water. And, you add, and just do that, you know. Dip your tools, moisten it, and keep shaping it. There we go. Then for toothpick, draw your grains. Pat it smooth, draw the grains. Okay, so these grains go upwards, so up this way. Like that. This one goes across this way. Okay. Moisten your fingers. Keep sculpting. There you go. Okay, and we'll just leave it as that. We'll come back in a bit. Right? So we'll leave the patchwork there and we'll come back in, uh, in about 10 minutes once that has hardened up. And you do have your little ball that you saved previously. You want to check if it's done, just give the ball a squeeze. You know, if you could deform it like that, you know the epoxy is not really set up yet. Now you go and wash your hands and you can come back in a bit. So it's been about uh, 15 minutes already and I've got my little test piece here and you can feel it's rock hard. Yeah, so that's when you know it's ready to be painted. I'm going to go ahead and mask up the, uh, the entire leg and, and then I'm going to paint it. Here I've got some of my favourite colour, matte black. I'm just going to be painting the toe of the, uh, of the piano so that the left and right side looks uh, pretty much uniform. I'm just going to paint a patch, you would be able to see a patch. So I've, I suggest, you know, picking a section and painting a section. So as you can see, kneadable epoxy is pretty awesome stuff. That's how you patch up the, uh, any chips or cracks you have in the house. It works on metal, it works on wood, it works on plastics. And yeah, uh, the possibilities are limitless. It seals up leaks, it does pretty amazing, amazing things. Um, if you like that video, do give me a thumbs up, uh, share and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.